Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, we bring you a matchup you're going to like. The contest tonight between Canada and the Czech Republic. And before the face-off, here's Eddie. Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Up the wing, still with possession, and with old outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Airborne to Iraq. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The Canadians have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. What a hit! Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Kovacs is feeling the effects of that hit, Doc. This one comes into the possession of the guy who's supposed to stop all these. Kovacs had no way to avoid this huge collision. The Czech Republic's got a little more room on their bench. They're short a player. The trainer's gone from the bench. The player's getting evaluated. Guys, I'll try and pick up some information. A little under eight minutes have been played. No goals to report yet. The Canadians win it. Deflected off the blocker. Chip to goal of that. One timer. Fires. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Great take, dangerous area. That's a great save. Points it. Shoots one. Not through. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. He scores. I got to tell you, Doc, any chance I had to go to the backhand, I did. Poulin's in pretty good position here, but he doesn't get enough of his body on the puck. It's a goal. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Great job to slip on by. Blockered away. Wrist one. Score! No hesitation at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Well, the goalie can only shake his head. He feels he should stop every shot on the glove side. He doesn't get to this one. A little under six minutes left to go here in the first. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. Pass attempt to LaPierre. Can't get a shot on him. First period is over. The players will get a rest. The vendors and the organist will not. A pair of pucks entered the net in that period, both from the same set of sticks. It's 2-0. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long. Erat's marker made this a two-goal lead for his team. Intermission is next. at home or on your smartphone. Passing one off now to Kelly. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? He lurched at it, and he got it. The Czech Republic's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Capel to Sekhoff. Great move there. Kicked away. See, Cash is shaken up, Doc. That was a bone rattle. Team Canada's continuing to probe up the wing. It 
See Cash's injury occurs on this play. You can hear the collision from where I'm standing. Czech Republic short a skater. Their trainer's gone from the bench as well. And the player's getting evaluated for an injury in the locker room. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. Not too sure if there's much history between these two, but after a hit... He's along! Takes it right back. Rister deflected off the blocker. A wonderful save at the goal crease. Big shot. Back to the point. Possession, pressure, that's got to equal a goal. In the corner with it now. Tremendous pressure. Pass to the blue line. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Team Canada goal. Team Canada has prevailed again on the faceoff in the neutral zone. He drives toward the slot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Score! Four! The goalie was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on him. Fuchs can't shut down the top of the net. He's beaten over the stick side shoulder. The Canadians have even the game here. Still in the second period, anybody's game now. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Knocked right off the stick. Fires. Great glove save, but it's loose. Covered up just to slow things down. This thing changes direction. It's an excellent stop for the goaltender. Goes back deep for it. Shoots one. Turned away off the path. Forty minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Fans, take a look to the sky. The home team Zeppelin is loaded with prizes and in your way, all intermission long. Bork's goal was special because it tied the game. That's why you're seeing it again as we had to break. Chip to Nakas. Shoots one. Oh, what a grab! Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Pass attempt to Bork. Poulin's at the bench. Extra attacker out. Wrist shot. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. The Czechs have taken a slashing minor here. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. The Canadians go on the power play for the first time. Team Czech Republic penalty. We have a winner. On. Great glove save, and he keeps it. What a glove save. He showed him the glove, and he took it away. He scores! It's a power play. You can keep the puck to the outside, but at some point, you got to get the puck to the middle of the ice. That's what they do, and they're rewarded with a power play goal. The defensive player's got to do a better job of reading the scene there, Edzo. The shooter has enough time to 
to deliver the puck, but he's got to get across to help defensively, give his goaltender a little help. There was no help for the goalie on that play. And they won the faceoff. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Moss is sent to the box for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Canada is controlling the play at center ice. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. Juris gets his name on the penalty sheet. A tripping minor. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Canadians look to make a difference up the wing. Up to the point. Not through. Cut his glove on it. A shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. He scores! Canada, an enormous goal. Back-to-back -back chances in the low slot, and he scored on the second one. Now the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. The Canadians have gotten a two-goal lead in this contest now. They're probably expecting an attack coming at them because now we're at desperation time. Canada goal. Sometimes it's not what your power play percentage looks like overall. It's when the game is on the line, can you come through? They didn't. They missed right there. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Bork's got an absolute cannon from the point. You can see why his teammates find him at every opportunity so he can unleash the cannon to the net. He's got a load of fans that watch his every move, Ray. And we will, too. The Czech Republic's lugging it along in the defensive zone. Let's it go. He scores! That would ricochet in off one of the bad guys. Edzo, I don't know about you from up there, but I thought he stopped this. It's just ricocheted off him into the net. Czech Republic's deficit is only one because of that last goal. Let's see if they can tie it up here in the third. Team Canada's got that puck off the draw. Slid back across from one point to the other. He covers and holds on. Nakas is not afraid to get his nose dirty. The Czechs at a key time are taking their time out. They trail, but they've got a chance to rally. One last risky attempt to get back in this game. You pull the goalie, put an extra man out, and you should win the faceoff or you're in trouble. A lightning light glove save. Bork's got it on his stick, trying to clear. And the game is over. Well played, it was. The Canadians are able to leave this ice surface with a win. They're lucky. Their power play was not very good tonight. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.